In the kitchen, Paul's lamb and root vegetables have cooked down and he's added some frozen peas. Time to move on to his mash. And then what we need now is the topping, which is the mashed potato, OK? In this pan, I've got some potatoes. I've cooked them, mashed them up, mm -hmm. but they're just absolutely neutral at this point. I'm going to add some butter to them. There we go, which will add a richness, but also, hopefully, helps get that nice crust on top, sure. of, the, uh, on top of the dish. Mm -hmm. A little bit of milk. Paul stirs the mash over a gentle heat and seasons with salt and pepper before spooning his lamb filling into a pie dish. Okay. So you're not going to pipe it? Oh, no, I don't do piping. I don't do oh, piping don't look at me like pie. Are you going to pipe yours? No, I'm not. Oh, good, I'm glad, because <laughs> I would have knocked you for that. Um, no, definitely, definitely no piping. <laughs> Right, good old splodge of mash on top. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, this is the starch, this is the carb of the meal, OK? So you need to put enough on there for yeah. what? Say, as well as all the others Four people out of that? All the other bits in there, yeah, yeah. But it's an all-in-one sort of affair. There we go, put that over there. And then just a bit of spreadage around. Right, I'm going to take a fork and I'm just going to give it a bit of that sort of business. Right. There we go. It just sort of breaks up the top, but it does another thing as well. By creating those little peaks, it's going to help it crisp up. Because you want a crisp top, okay. soft mash, yeah. beautiful uh, shepherd's pie underneath. Right, OK? Ed. Paul puts his pie in the oven at 160 degrees for 40 minutes. Matt's lamb filling has cooked down, so he transfers to a baking dish before getting on with the mash topping for his classic shepherd's pie. So here's my spuds, which we've boiled up. All right, I'm going to chuck them through this ricer. You cook a bay leaf in with your potatoes? Yeah, always. Why? What's wrong? Is that I, I, I've never heard of it. I really? It. Oh, no, it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. I usually chuck about three or four in. I love the old bay leaf. So these potatoes have been boiled just to their sort of, you know, holding their shape and then cooled a little bit. They're still a bit warm. OK, so here I've got some hot cream and butter. I tend to think if you add it cold, it's going to sort of seize the starch okay. in the spud so you don't get that nice sort of soft texture but right so in with the cream and the butter see how much we need to add now if you could pass my egg yolks and cream right i'm going to add yeah so this is quite a rich mash on top it's a very it? rich yeah. mash but there's nothing else in there apart from the the root veg yeah obviously. sure i don't want to overwork it okay because again you'll get gloopy starchy mash now important if you're going to add the egg yolks is obviously it's got to be a little bit cooler okay because you don't want them to cook exactly in the mash yeah so I'm with you. in with the egg yolks Let's beat those in quickly. Now, if you could chuck me the cheese. What's the intention of the egg yolks? What are they doing? They're going to enrich in it, uh, and they're going to help with the glaze right. as well. Matt then adds some grated cheddar cheese, reserving a little for the top of the pie. He then spoons the potato on top of the filling, and like Paul, uses a fork to rough the top. Right, OK, so there's the mash. A little bit of reserved, super strong. Yeah, this is just cheddar, right? Cheddar, yeah, yeah. it is. But, you know, nice and pokey. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that again, that's going to bubble, glaze, look delicious, and comforting and classic. Matt puts his pie in the oven at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. And it's time for Paul to show Matt his finished red cabbage. 24 hours later, look what you've got. You've got a smaller jar for a start because it's <laughs> condensed and, and you know, come down in volume. Um, and I've that's what it looks like. Off, yeah, hours. Strained off some of that liquid. Right. And I would just serve it like that, you know, cold, straight from the fridge, just on the side of the lamp. It's nice, tangy. It's really good. It's good, isn't it? And with that, they're ready to serve. Right, OK. You ready? Yeah, I am. Serve up. Right, Paul. So that is my classic and perfect cheese-crusted shepherd's pie. And there is my classic shepherd's pie with additional pickle red cabbage. Time for Paul and Matt to find out which classic shepherd's pie is perfect. It's a whitewash. <laughs> really? And you've whitewashed me. Have Cheese I? Cheese crusted shepherd's pie three. No, really? My shepherd's pie with pickled red cabbage zero. They're That's clearly the not shepherds. They're, but they're a classic. Yeah. And they know what you're talking about. Maybe. So we've got respect then. Anyway, onwards. Yes. The judges enjoyed Paul's pie using slow roast lamb, but felt that classic shepherd's pie has to be made with minced lamb. They loved Matt's savoury lamb filling and rich potato crust, and for them it was the perfect comfort food dish.